Hey man, this is the Shogbot splitter that I'll be using for the story system that I'll be working on. Um, to explain a bit more of what a Shogbot splitter does, it takes a mixed shock box that looks like this and puts each of the stackable items into their own shocker box while separating the unstackables. Now I will showcase how this works. Um, I'll put five boxes in and there's only four uh, of these modules. So what it will do is that it will distribute the boxes until there are no more empty um, modules and then it will pause the system. Now this does have some very cool features. One of them is it's able to detect whether there is a um, module that does not have any uh, empty boxes so it can't actually do any more splitting. Um, this detection is down here. It's per module basis because um, you are you can't actually detect it from this master chest for the empty shulker boxes because the arrays down here can be sucking out empty shulker boxes faster at hopper speed depending on how many of these modules you have. Um, so that means that the eighth or seventh module might not be getting shulker boxes, but the first and second are. Um, and because of that, you have to detect the empty distribution line uh, per module basis. So as you can see, we are detecting that right now. And that would mean I would just put boxes in and wait a little bit for it to go through the line. And I would have to hook this up to a timer, but I have it manually for now. And once I've activated that, it will continue its distribution and do its quick box. Now, Unstackables and also the shocker box um, original comes out here and then all the split boxes come down here. You can see the one there. Other types are in their own boxes. So if I were to get these boxes over here and come to the 2x8 palatable module, you can see that we have the um, readouts or status readouts for the module to uh, talk to the array as a whole. Um, we have the empty distribution down here. Now you can actually see that once we do detect that a module is empty, we do still have a minimum of 27 empty boxes for the distribution line. Um, this is because even though we do detect it, it might have just taken in a new box and a new box can output at most 27 um, empty shulker boxes. So we, we do plan for the worst case. And this is very important for shock box splitter because this is one of the very rare cases where in operation, the shock box splitter does break. So we have to um, ensure there's a minimum. Now you can actually replace this particular dropper with a chest. I didn't do that and actually opted in to have this empty primer here to uh, fill up this, this dismissal. Um, because I didn't want to have a... Uh, more than 27 empty shulker boxes in around doing nothing but you can just replace that if you don't want this little primer here and you have to clock that every time you detect um a, a module ran out of shulker boxes now let me showcase the module itself it uses this clock based system that was first shown by that nerd i'll link his video in the description below but you can see that the uh, detection for the empties is done in a very interesting way what it does is that it has another hopper that is looking directly into over here and you'll be able to see that this actually blinks because it's trying to push um that unstackable into the slot over here and the nature of this clocking system has it so that this little slot when there is a transition is two game ticks of empty space, which is enough time for this hopper to push an unstackable in. And we can detect that with this comparator here. Now, what actually happens after that is quite interesting and takes advantage of um, how a hop hopper works. So before a hopper goes on cooldown, it tries to push an item first and then it'll suck an item from the uh, show box on the top. So if I were to showcase this with these single items here, to be able to see the transition is six game ticks, which is very quick. Um, but you do realize that this wooden sword actually pushes um, first and then it'll suck out the new item. What's also quite interesting is that it does work with empty boxes. 
very cool. And all these red um, uh, inputs over here are just for hopper locking to ensure that the entire module is hopper locked. So the entire choke box array is 100% hopper locked, which is very cool. And that is also applied to the new um, choke box mergers and variable um, choke box orders. So very cool stuff. Um, I want to thank Crane for helping a lot with the timings. Um, I want to give a, a big shout out to that nerd for actually playing with us instead of playing with his Sankori. And very, very big thank you to Program Travel for being a Psycraft member.